Hi guys, it's Joe. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologise because I didn't get time to upload much of a video last week. And although I got a lot of views on my Dark Arm Dragon video, which I was really pleased at. So if you haven't seen it already, check the link just here and then I'll, uh, you can have a look at that one as well. But uh, I didn't get much time to load any videos, lo upload any videos last week because I wasn't very well in particular. And I'd had a bit of a rough week. And um, yeah, just you know, I won't go into details because it's not for you guys to know. But uh yeah, I was just, I wasn't very well, so I didn't get much time to play any videos. But back on track this week, and this week we have Effect Failure. And Effect Failure is a very popular card to this day, although it's kind of been left to the wayside in favour of Max C, Flying C, Retaliating C, Droll and Lockbird, and all sorts of other hand trap versions of monsters. But Effect Failure will always hold a special place in the competitive Yu Gi Oh player's heart because it was like the first major one. There were ones before it, but none quite as prolific as Effect Failure. You know, first things first, the colour scheme on, on Effect Failure is fabulous. It's just so good. And like, I love all my bright colours. I love the blues, the turquoises, the whites, and it just, it works. It's really, really nice. So, what I've done with this card is I actually did a very, very slight black. Uh, background on the left hand side of the card because there's there's black on the left hand side of the card but there's none at all on the right hand side it goes from dark to light so I decided that it would be beneficial just to do a little bits on the side before covering it with the blue um, undercoat so I thought that you know it would make the transition colors much much better and yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with how this turned out uh, by the end of the video you'll notice that um, I forgot stupidly to tail off his sort of weird scarf thing that comes down but when you see the final picture you'll know that I did notice that I'd forgotten to do that and they have been added into the final picture. I've actually started to experiment with uh, full alters of cards where I would take the parts of the cards that I want covered so basically on a Yu-Gi-Oh card it'd be just the text box or the name title box and the text box and cover everything else grey and then I would find what I want to paint over the top of it and just go with it. It's a lot more, it gives me a lot more creative freedom to do what I want to do, although my technique isn't quite polished enough yet for me to put it up as YouTube videos. I want to make sure that for you guys, I make sure I get it perfect before I end up posting it up online. So be patient and then hopefully I'll get to show you guys some of these things sometime and it'll be really, really cool. Some of the ideas I've had for full alters, I mean, I could share some of that stuff with you guys. I mean, I was considering, like, changing one of the cards into, say, sort of like a Street Fighter character or something from RuPaul's Drag Race, because I'm obsessed with Drag Race. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do. It's, I was considering altering a Gaga Gaga Cowboy into being Dante from Devil May Cry and then Dante from DMC as well, just to see which one people prefer. I mean... I'm not going to tell you which one I prefer, because I don't think that it's necessary. I think that both series, or both DMC and Devil May Cry, are amazing games. So, it'd be interesting to see how people react to stuff like that. But, as I said, I'm going to get the technique down first, and then I'm going to ask for loads and loads of Gaga -ga -ga Cowboys that I can practice on. So, if anyone gives me one of those, I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with the rest of this painting. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, you can also check out Joseph Cards on Etsy, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards. And I'll also be interested in talking to you about commissions. So this is something that people have been asking me for for a long while. So if you want to get into contact with me and then ask me about something that's possible, then we'll discuss it. I may say no, because something might be too difficult, or it might just not be possible because it's a foil or it's not an extension. But we'll talk about it, and it'll be great. So yeah, I'll hopefully hear from you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.